Right, good morning, this is Old History. And with permission from the owner, the gentleman's, he's walking around with me, he doesn't want to be on camera. Uh, he's walking around with me and I'm going to showcase the buildings. But first, before I get started, uh, he made the request that before, uh, there is strictly no trespassing here. Uh, violators will be dealt with accordingly. The law will be called, you'll go to jail. Uh, people have tried to break in here, they tried to crawl in the windows. As you can see over there, uh, they've had to board it up. And right there, I guess people kicked down the doors and they've boarded it up too. Uh, right here, we have the trade school. It was built in, I believe, the 40s. And at one point in time, it housed over, I believe, one and a half million dollars in printing equipment. Uh, in today's money, anyway. And this place has been abandoned since 1967, I believe. So this was the administration building. It was the original home to the trade school over there. It was built in 1912, just shortly, just just after the uh, the printing union moved to Roger, uh, Hawkins County. And up until about what, 10 years ago, people. Lived in that? Yeah. About 10 years ago. Still in fairly decent shape. through rock, rocks through the window, I'm guessing. Yeah. Here is a gazebo. I actually got a really cool picture of a, it's a black and white picture I found of some people standing around it uh, sometime in the 1920s. And I'll link that picture, or I'll put the picture up in the video. Right here is the mausoleum where George Berry was interred for quite a while. They moved his body some time ago and uh, we think that they moved him to where the headquarters currently is in Washington, D.C. They could have also moved him to uh, 
somewhere into Hawkins County too, but I'm I'm not for sure on that one. So here is uh, this is the church. As you can tell this is as far as we can go in. I have a picture of the inside of the church. It's still in decent shape. I'll link it onto the video too, right after this clip. Most of the buildings on this site were mined with, uh, were made with limestone mined on site. I don't know where the limestone mine was. It was nearby somewhere. On the back side of that wall. Sorry, that's a really crappy zoom. Uh, there was a mural that you can barely even tell it's it's even there now. Pretty decent, decent sized little church. So over here, we have what I believe was either the post office or something else. Um, I believe it was a, it was a gas station at one point, but uh, I'm, I'm not entirely for sure. Um, right beside of it, we have all that's left uh, under all the kudzu, all that's left of. Uh, of the Pressman Hotel, I believe it was called the Hotel Personia. I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. The hotel, I can't remember when it was built, but it was three stories and I believe it had 220 something rooms. Uh, however, it was torn down, or burned down, excuse me, by an arsonist in October of 1994. Now, before the, the uh, Pressman's Union came in, which was known as the International Printing Pressman and Assistance Union of North America. Before they came in, in about 1911, uh, this was known as Hale Springs. As um, a gentleman who I believe was a captain in the Civil War, uh, had a slave plantation here as well as a uh, resort. And then of course the Union bought this place. The first, one of the first few buildings that was built of course was the uh, the uh, old administration building which you see ahead. And then the home building, which was actually just just up on the hill beside of the chapel, uh, didn't go up there because it's too far grown up. However, it burned down, I believe, in the, 60, the late 60s or the early 70s. It wouldn't have really been worth it to go up there. All that's left is the foundation. Alright, the last thing that we have, the last things that we have, and I'm not going to get any closer uh, than this, because somebody else owns this property, but I'm on the road, I'm on the, I'm on the public road. Uh, this was the powerhouse, and this supplied all of Happy Valley with power long before TVA uh, 
got its bearings in its hydroelectric power with Cherokee Dam, Norris Dam, etc. You can't really see it in my camera. So they won't zoom. Okay, yeah, there it is. The very, very top on the smokestack, you can make out a PH. Stands for Preston's home, of course. In the back, there's somebody that, uh, for the, uh, there's a, a water management company. I believe it's Lakeview Utility District. They own part of this property. Of course, and over there, you can make out the top of it, but that was the lumber mill. With, uh, with the uh, presence of another gentleman who um, who I was talking to, I got to go inside of that building, and it's actually still in good shape. It still has one of the original um, boilers still in there, and uh, some of the equipment. However, like I said, it is strictly no trespassing here.